back to the pitch for the Division Three Girls District Finals. Bowling Green and Perkins fighting for a spot at regionals. It's nil-nil early in the second half. The Bobcats with their first corner kick in the match, but Leah Kester heads it just high over the crossbar by a little bit. Later on in the first, it's Sophia Rolowski. She'll center it up to Ireland Hart. She takes the shot. And it goes ricocheting off a of Bobcat and into the back of the net for the Perkins goal. And that's really all they'd need. The Pirates beat the Bobcats 1-0, moving on to the next round. After Mommy, I think we definitely felt a little bit better. Like last game, we were so nervous. We're all sitting on the bus, really scared. But now I'm really happy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't want my season to end. I don't want to be done yet. I want to see how far we can go. Dave Flanders was a busy guy for us now on the call for this one with Ben Wilcox. The magical run continues for the Perkins Pirates. They came out of the gate with all kinds of speed, no apprehension, and they're playing like a team that deserves to be here. Yeah, on the front foot from the first whistle, pressuring, movement off the ball. They changed their tactic a little bit to attack from more direct to diagonal, and again, got them great results. It's a hard ending for the Bowling Green Bobcats, but it did really seem like a team that played beyond their expectations. It had been, it's always a tough slog going through the NLL every year. They turned out a great result getting through Springfield with a big 3-0 win, and they just came up against a team that ended up having one more save. Yeah, and again, Bowling Green got the ball forward. They got the ball into a dangerous area numerous times, ball bouncing. They just couldn't get that, that final product and, and get it in the back of the net. The Perkins Pirates had never been in the district round at all. They are now district champions. They move on to the regional semifinals. That will do it here from Lake.